Welcome to Learn to Read Thai video tutorial 22 and in today's tutorial I'll be covering the final two consonants. I haven't covered every single vowel combination but I've covered the ones that you're most likely to see. After this tutorial I may do a tutorial on consonant clusters but as all the vowels and consonants have now been covered I won't be doing any more tutorials like this. As to what I will be doing next, I'm not quite sure. Unfortunately, the response to this channel hasn't been very good and I don't feel particularly motivated to, to do a lot more on it at the moment. Now, whether that may change, I'm not sure. I do actually have another YouTube channel that's doing a, lo a lot better and at the moment, it just makes more sense to, to concentrate on that other channel rather than this one. Anyway, let's, let's move on with this tutorial. This character here is called Lo Jula. It means kite in Thai. It makes an L sound as an initial consonant and an N sound as a final consonant and it's a low class consonant. It actually performs exactly the same function as this character, Lo Ling, that we did in a previous tutorial. However, Lo Ling is used a lot and this one is only used in a, in a few words. And it looks a bit like one of the, the P consonants we did, except it's got this little loop. Similarly, this, this one here, which is called Ho Nok Hook, it means owl in Thai. It looks a bit like the O Ang, the silent consonant, but it's also got this little loop. It's also low class, and it makes an H sound as an initial consonant, and it's not used as a final consonant. Uh, where I see this most is in words that have been borrowed from other languages that start with an H sound. So whereas with, with most Thai words that start with an H sound they use this Ho Heap character, if the word is borrowed from another language they normally use this character. Now I'm not sure if it's because they just reserve this one for uh, words that are that borrowed from other languages or whether it's because of tones. This Ho Heap is a, a high class consonant. This one is low class and of course the, the class of the initial consonant affects the, the tone rule. Now in the usual fashion, I'll get my assistant, Pom, to write some words that use these consonants and then to give you the correct pronunciation. So this is the first one. So you see the, the N consonant, the Nor Nu, then the, the long R, then this new one, Lord Jula, the short I vowel, go guy, and then the long R again. Nalika, nalika, nalika. And that means watch or clock in Thai. There's, there's just one word for both. As I said, this consonant is only used in a, in a few words. For L sounds, I normally see, normally see Lo Ling, but just occasionally I see this one as well. So here we have Gorgai again, then the long E vowel, then the Lord Jula and the long R vowel. Gila, Gila, Gila. And that means sport in Thai. The next sample word will use this new consonant as a final consonant. Okay, here we have the, the, the W consonant, the war wan, the long R vowel, and then the Lord Jula as a final consonant. One, one, one. That's a word that's borrowed from English, and it's the, the word for wow, the big animals that live in the, in the sea. And what you notice is that as a final consonant, it adopts an N sound, and this is exactly the same as law ling. So, um, central department store in Thailand becomes Centran. And when you ask for the bill in a restaurant, it becomes Bin. Any, any, any word that's been borrowed that has an L as a final consonant, the Thais will use Lo Ling or Lo Jula, and that adopts an N sound. And the, ne the next word is one I've mentioned before in a different tutorial 
It was when, when I covered the J and CH sounds in a previous one, I told you that there are Thai words that use the jaw jan, but it's often transliterated into a, a CH. And this is actually the name of a, um, a much loved king, R Rama V. And various things have been named after him. There's a big university in Bangkok named after him. So we got the, the jaw, jaw jan, initial consonant, then the short u vowel, then the lord jula, and then the long a vowel. Jula, jula, jula. And that would normally be transliterated as C H U L A, but I, I think it's more of a, a J sound. Right, let's move on to the other new consonant. And as I said before, this is mostly used when Thais borrow a word from another language that, that starts with an H sound. So instead of using the, the whole heap, they will use the, the whole knock hook. So here we have the, the whole knock hook, the short I vowel, and the N consonant. And the second syllable is the, the door deck D consonant and the long U. Hindu, Hindu, Hindu. That, that's exactly how Pom pronounced it. It's um, Hindu from, the, from India. Now, Thai, Thai society is structured in a, in a very um, hierarchical fashion. There are people at the top and people at the bottom. And Thais have adopted a couple of expressions from English to describe this. And they, and they will describe people at the top as high soul and people at the bottom as low soul. And as I said, when, when they take words from other languages at the start of an H, they often use this haw knock hook. So here we see the, the short I vowel, haw knock hook, and then the O vowel, and the so so s consonant. Hi so, hi so, hi so. So this would be used to describe someone from high society in Thailand. All of these uh, example words, actually using horn knock hook, are, are borrowed words from from other languages. Okay, so here we have the hornock hook. The or ang uses a vowel, just like an o in English, and the tortahan t, and then the door deck d, another o, and the go go guy. Sorry, sorry, go guy. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Exactly the same as Pom pronounced it. Now, for, for um, some things, Thais have their own words, but occasionally they will use the English word transliterated into Thai. And what, what Pom has just written is, is the, the word, English word hotel transliterated into Thai. And the Thai word will be wrong ram. So we have the the whole ho knock hook, then the O vowel, and then this sara A and Maitaku is a vowel combination. The initial initial consonant is the to tao, and then the final consonant is lo ling. Hotel, hotel, hotel. And one more. There are a lot of Thai Muslims, especially in the south of Thailand, and um, that their dietary requirements mean that they can only eat halal meat. And this is the word halal that's been transliterated into Thai. And because it's a word that's borrowed from another language, they've used the ho knock hook. So we've got the ho knock hook, the long R vowel, lo ling L consonant, another long R vowel, and fi finally an another lo ling consonant. Halan, halan. Halan. 
And as, as you would have heard there with Pom's pronunciation, this, this law ling as a final c consonant takes on an N sound. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as I implied a little bit earlier, I'm not quite sure where this channel is going, but I'll, I'll update you on that fairly soon.